few days ago, before the rain fell, Lola and I had a few hours free to go for a stroll through the wilderness. Um, I strolled, Lola hunted. The bright blue sky was full of puffy white clouds, and from the east came the dark clouds full of rain, and they bunched up and they combined with the white clouds and pushed other white clouds to the west and the gray the day grew darker and the the air cooled and Lola and I approached a sandstone cliff that rose maybe 300 feet above us and it's a sheer sandstone like a sheer drop and from the other side of the sandstone, a eagle rose up above the peak of the sandstone, rising the, riding the thermals. And as the upper air cooled, the, the heat from the sandstone lifted the air up into the sky where it met the clouds and it condensed. And it formed little raindrops that fell down upon us. And the eagle without, of course, lifting a wing, so to speak, rose higher and higher. And uh, the eagle rose. And then to check us out, Lola and I, eagle dipped one shoulder. And the eagle went down and it circled like 180 degrees to check us out. And head going back and forth, making sure that, you know, I, we hadn't disturbed anything the eagle could eat. And then again, lifted high above the sandstone peak on the thermals. And then it dropped the other wing or other shoulder, bird shoulder, and it spiraled the other direction, 180 degrees or so. So it was back on the direction it had been going. And it rose and it fell and it rose and it fell. And all the while the sky was growing dark and rain was imminent. And the beauty was ineffable, can't be described. The person has to be there. There's no video could cover you know, such beauty, such grace, such sublime uh, person has to be here has to feel the wind on their skin as it cools and little droplets of rain falling on one's head and the smell of the creoso and the chamisa as the dampness falls and the plants give off the scent and I pointed it up at the eagle and I told Lola, look, Lola, an eagle, go get it. So her eyes grew, grew really wide and she looked around really excited. She started to yip and couldn't find where the prey was. So I said, no, Lola, no, up, up. And she got more excited and she looked around 360 degrees and another 360 degrees. And then she looked up at me and said, are you fucking with me? <laughs> so, silly girl. So, New Mexico suits me. I belong here. Everyone else does not, so stay out. That means you, Texans. Nobody wants you here. Go away.